Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you an update on my cooling situation. Welcome back and thanks for being here. If you've been following the channel, you know that I had reported a leak uh, a little while back. And it's not really a leak. I've had the system inspected by a, a very competent uh, mechanic and he can't find anything. And just me bringing up the fact that I have a leak or the perception that I have a leak, this was back on my three year 93,000 mile video. Uh, people have been posting all kinds of comments about it and I appreciate the feedback. Uh, a lot of it is actually repetitive, but I still welcome the engagement. And uh, I posted an update about 5,000 miles ago. I don't remember when it was, but at that point, the uh, it had been 5,000 miles and the coolant had gone down just a, a millimeter or two in those 5,000 miles. Well, now it has been another 5,000 miles and the coolant has gone down maybe another millimeter. So I am, I don't know if you can see behind me, but I am right at the minimum line. And what happened in the last video is when I drove the car and warmed it up and got it hot, uh, the coolant level actually came up a millimeter. So it, um, I wanted to see how long it would take for the coolant to get to below the minimum line and then maybe find out what it takes for the, uh, the, for the indicator to, uh, to set on the dash. And so I haven't seen that yet, even with the coolant level right at the minimum line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the car for a drive and um, and see if the coolant level will come up. The last time I tested this out, it did, it did not come up, but it didn't go down either. And then last night what I discovered was, uh, actually I didn't discover it, um, uh, Jake from Bond Performance mentioned this to me, that on a hot engine, if you unscrew the cap that sometimes a level will come up and, and sure enough it did I'll, I'll demonstrate that for you in just a minute so let's talk about that regarding my leak um, nothing ever on the ground I, and this amount that's um, is being reflected on the on the markings on the bottle I think it amounts to ounces like just a few ounces what I was hoping to follow up with on this video is exactly how many ounces I was going to measure and top it off, but I don't think I'm going to top off yet. Like I said, I want to see where it has to be to trigger the warning lamp on the cluster, and then I'll take a photo of that and share it with you. So I guess I'll do another follow up at some point. But then the other thing I notice is when I let loose the cap, the level comes up, I want to say almost to halfway between the, the minimum and the maximum mark. Now obviously when I'm driving down the road, I don't crack the, the cap to get the level to come up. But something I'm doing when I crack the cap is, you know, I don't know if that's simulating anything normal in the, uh, in the system. And so that's why there's that range that says between here and here because that level is going to move up and down. I'm sure it's simple. I mean, the simple physics behind the level going up when the engine is hot is, okay, the fluid expanded because, you know, heat, heat causes uh, stuff to expand. I get that. But why when the pressure is let off of the, um, of the cap? I suppose it's letting air out because air expands also when it gets hot. That's That'd be a good explanation, but maybe there's a better one. So uh, share one if you have it. I'm gonna keep on driving. It's been 10,000 miles. The level has gone down maybe two to three millimeters. And that is since November, this is July. So we're talking about eight months, almost nine months since, uh, since I first reported a coolant leak. Is it really a leak? I've had plenty of long-time VW guys post, this is normal behavior. Anyway, I'm beginning the babble. Please share your thoughts and uh, ask questions if you have them. As always, I appreciate you being here, and I will see you next time. Take care.